How are you doing? It's Paul from Pulse Racing. Uh, we're a couple of weeks out from World Time Attack at the moment and basically we're almost ready to go. We've been working really, really hard this year basically on a lot of things that under the surface. You can't see too much of it. Basically big, big changes in aero underneath the car and obviously a few other little things basically from the mountain of data that we went over last year's event. Basically driveline changes and obviously a little bit more power could hurt ourselves. Basically the main thing is obviously aero. There's huge, huge gains to be had in the front end aero in this car from where we were last year. And obviously like World Time Attack, each year our splitters keep getting bigger and bigger. You might see up on the wall, that's basically Gen 2. I think Gen 1's in the bin by now. Basically Gen 3 behind it and obviously Gen 4 splitter now. And of course, without a doubt, my favourite thing from the small things I'm used small minds basically category, the car's been terrible to work on. Now it's a lot easier. Basically, we've installed the engine into the car. Now we can actually get under the car and work on it properly. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Oh, and I almost forgot. Basically, one of the most visual things that you'll, you, you'll see. We've run this car black for probably about oh, four or five years since 2008. The car was originally black. Bold, bold colour change. Wait and see. Not going to miss it. This thing is going to stand out like nothing else. We'll see you at World Time Attack. Thanks for watching.